This right here is the Oroto heated vest available to purchase on Amazon. And I've owned it for about a year. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you my honest thoughts and opinion about this vest. Full disclosure, I purchased this vest on Amazon by myself. And I purchased it mainly because I, you know, I wanted to wear something that was going to be warm when I go to my son's hockey and soccer practices and games. If you are new to my channel, I'm Desi Cheng. I post one to two times per week, and I primarily focus on bags and gear related to travel, EDC, everyday carry, and photography. In terms of fit, I got the size medium. I'm about 5'8 in height and 185 pounds. And this is a great size for me because when I'm wearing it with a t-shirt, it looks fine. And also it's, it's just got just enough room. So if I had a light jacket or a sweater, I could wear it underneath it. In terms of the heat output, uh, I wouldn't say it is the warmest one because I had, did try another jacket before this one and um, it was great. It was actually much hotter and warmer than this one. However, it died and so it, I returned it. Uh, but I went with Aurora because it had a lot of reviews on Amazon and I will have to say it's fairly, uh, fairly reliable. I mean, after one full year of use, uh, the battery has not depleted. Um, it's just, you know, it, I've never had an error or anything like that. I never had a problem. So, so far, so good. Now, in terms of the battery on, um, when you have it on the high mode, it lasts about 70 to 100 minutes kind of depends um and uh yeah it's it, it does advertise that you know can last up to 10 hours but that's going to be on the low setting and to be honest i never really use it at the low setting because you kind of barely notice much of a difference so i would stick to either just the medium or the high modes and uh in terms of the battery itself unfortunately to connect it to the vest it uses a dc power port it's not a usb so unfortunately you can't use um, a, a standard general power bank to power the vest if this battery runs out. You will either have to buy a brand new battery or you just have to wait until this one fully recharges before you can use it again. To charge it though, it just requires a USB-C connection. And then if you are wondering about, you know, how warm is it, uh, you know, if you're not going to use a battery pack and just using it as a standard vest, um, it, I think it's pretty decent. I mean, I don't, uh, it definitely provides an extra layer. And sometimes I just wear it around the house without even needing to, uh, you know, put the heated part on. So overall, in terms of warmth level, I'd say it's, you know, light to medium weight. It's not a heavyweight one, but it's, uh, it does definitely provide warmth without turning the, the thing on. One thing I dislike about this version that is out there right now is this white Aurora stitching. And as you can tell, when you look at the back, you got this white, you know, logo there, which is quite prominent. And uh, my friend actually has an older version of this, uh, probably uh, maybe two or three years old, uh, and it's all black. It's like black on black. So it's very, very stealthy. And I really, really do like that. And I wish they had a black on black version. Um, if they had that, you know, that might entice me to get a new one. Uh, but unfortunately, white it is. So let's wrap this video up. You're wondering if you should buy this or not. Uh, I think you should because it's fairly reliable over the past year that I've been using it. It's been consistent. Uh, I haven't had any issues. Unfortunately, it's not the warmest of the heated vests, but it's pretty good. And uh, the only thing, again, the only thing I really don't like is just this kind of white stitching logo. And uh, by the way, it's a very lightweight jacket, uh, easy to wipe off in case there's something on it. It's got two zippered pockets um, and uh, yeah, there's nothing else I could really say about it. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see me do more, please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.